Okay, so critiques, critiques, critiques. Um, I think it is Gold Leaf, right? I think that's what you did the Sacred Haze character with, if I'm not mistaken. Alright, so, for Leia's piece, we'll critique it. What are you, what are you kind of wanting to focus on here? Um, like, what are you wanting to learn? I know you said, I think you said hands and stuff. Oh, this is watercolor? That's gold watercolor? That's not gold leaf stuff? Because that's really popping off. General anatomy, especially the hands. Okay. Fucking hands. <laughs> you couldn't ask something easy? Um... Yeah, Momuro, this is really, 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 really nice, right? I agree. Fucking hands indeed. I know, I know. Okay, so first things first, I think with yours, because especially since you work traditional, we talked last time about flipping our canvas. So that's the first thing we're going to do. Just kind of flip the canvas, uh, see what things we can see that might be off. I think this one already looks uh, like way, way better than your last piece um, as far as like the balance and stuff that you got. Uh, flipped it. It's a little better. Yes, please say yes. It is. It is. I was gonna ask if you flipped it, if you've been flipping your canvas, because I can already tell things uh, things look quite a bit better than the last time. Um, so it already looks like you've been flipping the canvas and measuring things out and checking things. So in that regards, very very good job. If you if that's what you've been doing and you've been checking it beforehand, very good job. I'm so proud of you. Um, so on this, now now we come down to like sort of general proportion stuff. So uh, general proportions, um, what I'm seeing kind of right off the bat is, um, I, think, I think people tend to do this, I notice this a lot too, as we make the necks a little bit too thick. I take my critiques very seriously. <laughs> I'm glad when you guys do. It, it really does make me feel good when I give a critique to you guys and uh, the next time you draw something, I see that you made those changes and things. Um, that really makes me feel pretty damn good. So on this, um, be careful with the line of the the line of of the jaw. Which part do you think, Momoro? Damn good tips. Ah, thank you. I appreciate that. I hope that they help. Um, one thing I think is that like I notice a lot of people will make the necks a little bit too thick, uh, and this is kind of a trend I'm seeing with a lot of people. Um, the more I critique, so it's kind of interesting to see it. Um, especially depending on like what type of character you want to convey. Um, I see it a lot with the side of the head, right? Whoops, put this on another layer. Um, so I see it a lot like with the side of the heads when we draw, sometimes people will draw the necks um, here and here, right, coming out of the skull. But we have to remember too that the neck kind of goes out of the back of the head and then there's a little patch of fat um, underneath that that jawline that goes back to the actual neck too so there's like this little part and the necks are usually quite a bit thick. even on like big hulky individuals um, a lot of what you're seeing sometimes isn't just the thick neck it's the fucking trap muscles that go up to it um, so if you want a lot of thickness in there kind of think about those trap muscles that connect to the neck right versus like thinking about the neck muscle the actual neck muscles um, the other jaw is a bit, oh, on the, on the side, yeah, I do see some of that, um, I see exactly what you're talking about, like, right here to right here, right, but it's very, 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 very close to, um, to where we were at last time, or very, very close to, uh, in comparison to where we were at last time with the last drawing, right? Also, we need to like look at sort of like the. Uh, it's not always going to be super symmetrical on both sides too. I think we had somebody raise that point last time that like faces just in general are not super symmetrical, um, and are not perfect all the way around. It's just what can we do to kind of get them looking a little bit more like maybe what we want, uh, where it's not lop lopsided too much. Does that that make sense? Um, here's another thing too, so so feminizing figures, I think this is probably maybe going to be a little bit controversial on stuff, because I know I hate the idea that feminine or whatever 
I don't know what else, what other term to use with it, um, other than kind of genderifying it. But um, so, so a lot of times with with more female figures that um, lurk to work, you no know, problem, Ruby, do it up. Um, with female figures and stuff, we'll we'll make uh, or or even children in general. We'll make that jawline sort of curve down under the chin, right? Rather than be straight. Whereas a symbol for more masculine is going to be uh, a more flatter chin right down there. So we curve it a little bit if we want it softer. It depends on what you want with this character. So um, before and after, right? Depends on what you want with the character, right? This is another thing where we're kind of slimming down the neck a little bit, slimming down the jawline. Uh, I'm get because I'm I'm shooting for more round, soft, feminine features, um, typical classical feminine features. But it's not that the women can't have these. It's just that in the sense of uh, softness um, uh, and trying to communicate that visually, like what do you want? This there's no problem with your characters looking like this, by the way. Um, I'm just sort of fitting it into like I guess a uh, a more um, I don't know how you say it uh, stereotypical view to convey to convey a, a feeling of softness in her. Um, but like I said, it it really depends on what you want. Um, I don't necessarily like uh, classifying things that have to be this way or that way. But I also think within art, it can be very important to to show and and just with the way the way that I feel like she is, she's like sort of like holding herself and, and vulnerable and stuff. And I think that uh, I'm playing up the ideas of um, innocence, I guess, within those within those features as well. It's all about like subtext, right? But you can do whatever you want with it. That makes sense. This character would make a badass. Oh, you think this character would make a badass druid? Yeah. So as far as anatomy stuff, I also kind of do the same thing with shoulders, right? Um, her head is her head. I'm gonna say her head is is quite a bit big at the moment, uh, in comparison to probably where it needs to be. So maybe we could actually shrink that down. Because I think you'd want one head on each side on those shoulders. So if we kind of calm down that and elongate the neck, then that's another thing we kind of get into, like that vulnerability idea or that sort of feminine idea. An artist type, so I'm just sitting here amazed, incredibly amazed at what people do. The talent that people have it, that submit for critiques is they're, they're really incredible. So we can kind of play up that with the longer neck, right? Now we have room to kind of mess with it. And I would even like put her, put her shoulders down even further a little bit too. Really look up to, and why is it Tom Brady? Get out of here. <laughs> I'll just post a link in chat. Yes, yes, post a link to a JPEG in chat. Uh, Tom Brady is definitely not somebody like I look up to. <laughs> Only Joe Madera. And if Joe Mad likes Tom Brady, then, then I will break my heart. But I will do, I will go along with whatever Joe wants. Yes, Ian McKaig is really, really good. I'd say Joe Madrera that does Battle Chasers. He's probably at the top of the list, hands down. But there's so many people. 
Jim Lee, he streams on Twitch. Um, Way to Cuff, this guy named Way to Cuff, I look up to a lot. The Siege Man, I look up to a lot. Um, all these talented artists out there. So now we're kind of fixing some proportions here a little bit. All right, just kind of seeing where these go. Um, the breasts we measure one head down, one head down. So I think those are okay. Now the interesting thing is like how do we kind of make those a little bit squished? Which is going to be a little bit harder to show <laughs> on Twitch. Um, Alessandra Barbucci, that name sounds really, really familiar. I'm going to get a little bit more room here on this arm. So we'll take, we'll take uh, from this place where she's covering up, right? So I think one thing Aaron Blaze has said is that you could draw the, draw the arm and then connect it later on to the rest of it. So if you need to figure out the position of where the arm goes, uh, figure that out first. And then you can connect the rest of the arm to it. So then if we want to show that squish in there as well. And we have it kind of looping over the uh, the bicep. I think we could even go down further. So it looks like you're also doing a when in doubt, you finger out of here. I'm guessing Leia. Putting me in mind of him on Leia's? Yeah, the smaller size head definitely looks much more, yeah, yeah. Um, so here's where we, we're, we're at so far, right? This kind of gives a feeling of like laid back more too. Like I don't know if you can see it. One's kind of way, way more intense. One feels more like she's laying back in a bed. Um, kind of like a Sleeping Beauty type of feel to it. Where she'd be surrounded by different things. All these flowers and stuff. Um, same thing with this, this hand over here, you know. This is looking quite a bit better, I think, though. So I'll kind of leave that one alone. I do kind of want to drop this boob down a little bit. But kind of keep those elbow creases. That'll give it that'll give it some of that squish, right? Summoning a demon, summoning a demon on accident? Oh shit. Um that's a huge difference, yeah. Do you, does it make sense to you? Reference for mine? Uh you can, yeah, you can if you want. I can pop that up. Okay, so I got yours, Toonie. What's up, Ray, man? How you doing, buddy? Boob squish is really, really, really difficult. I recommend following Grim if you guys want to learn how to do very good boob squish because it's really difficult but it can make a huge difference in your drawing we can do a little bit if she's a little bit thinner we can have a little bit of that collarbone pop in too so 
So I think a lot of boob squish is going to happen with these lines right in here. Garcia, what's up? How you doing, Garcia? I very much underestimated boobs. <laughs> in that fucking life. Um, fix the arm and not repeat the head mistake next time. Uh, it's uh, you know it happens a lot. Don't don't beat yourself up on it. I know when people are um, oh Grim so Grim uh, G he's he's spelled G two one M M. He streams super late at night for me. Um, go follow him. Toss him some love. He's a great artist, but he he understands like uh, really squishy anatomy and it's really really good. Uh, if you follow him, you'll understand what I'm saying. Um, but he's very very good at what he does. Uh, okay, so I'm guessing you kind of wanted the thumb to kind of cover up that nipple. But since we changed a little bit of stuff, um, we'll just won't, we won't draw the nipple for now. But we can all we have to do really is move the hand back when you go into it. Yeah, we raid him sometimes at night a lot. Uh, if I get to see him at, on at night, I'm gonna I like to show him some love. So, like I said, he's ridiculously talented. So. So I think on your on your hands, the only thing that I'm I'm feeling kind of off on, um, you definitely did the uh, when in doubt, finger outy thing, right? Whoops, <laughs> definitely did not want to make that part of the drawing. Master of boob physics. He's really, really, really good at it. Boob and butt physics. The important things in life he's good at. So on your hands, Ethan Becker has a great video. When in daddy, finger daddy. Um, it looks like you've got that with the uh, with the really good pinky curve. Um, the only the problem I think you're having is maybe with the with the index finger, which. You kind of have, I think, a little, little bit too broken away from these, right? We don't need to necessarily pull it far, far away. And also, I tend to do this as well with, like I said, more more feminine. I, I try to, I tend, my person, I tend to make make like less curves. So I'll try to make this one shape as much as possible. Um, rather than like, a, say like if I'm drawing a guy, a guy hand, I might put all three knuckles in there. Um, and then like some detail on it. But with feminine, I almost try to make just one, one little curve, even the fingernail, I try to make it part of that finger shape, right? Versus like a guy fingernail, I might do this, um, making it different. Girl fingernail, I might go for that shape. These are just different things that I kind of try to do um, to express different ideas uh, visually. And it's not that I'm right or right on this at all, but um, just those are things that I that I do and I try. Um, so I think you're kind of I think you're actually not doing too bad uh, on this. I think the big problem is that when you do break a finger out from the rest of the pack, sometimes you're pushing it maybe a little bit too far. Like like I think this is. It's not that this is really, 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 really far off. It's just, I think it's the, the curve that it goes with, right? Um, it's almost like, like kind of forced um, in a different direction. Versus like still following that curve, still being able to follow it, right? So these are kind of going this way. And then having this just be a little bit more, just a little bit more relaxed. Right. I really, I really keep almost wanting to draw that nipple in there just to make it like anatomically correct. I'm trying to behave. <laughs> trying to behave. Um, fingernails? Have you? Yeah. So actually, I don't think your fingernails are are, are terrible. Um, the only thing I will caution you is. Uh, you don't always need a ton of details within like the knuckles and the and the skin textures. Y your style actually works pretty well for um, having a little bit more details because your style is like it feels more like uh, sort of like Renaissance sketching stuff. And so 
it's not that that's that bad at all, but um, that's another thing is I, I kind of I kind of leave out a lot of those like a lot of these lines that you have here. Um, I kind of I tend to leave those out as well. Um, so yeah, those are some ideas. Those are some ideas that I have with yours. Um, do you want to screen cap any of this at all before I close it? Unless there's anything else that you want to. Unless there's anything else that I just missed that I did not go over. Decent non emo pick. Okay, let's check that out. Scoob's announcement of his masterclass. The boob. <laughs> the boob squish. I spend. God damn you, masters. <laughs> Maybe, you know. I'm just going to say this. I'm just going to throw this out there. Um, I understand that SS is Sailor Scoob's. <laughs> But I'm thinking as a badge, SS might not be the best um, logo. <laughs> um, just historically, I'm thinking that we might want to change the uh, the abbreviation on it. Got the screen cap? Okay. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> I know that's probably something that people aren't thinking about, but I just kind of noticed how close that looks to, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, we might change that, um, just FYI. Okay, so that was Leia's, uh, Leia's piece. We got that all good, then we'll move on to our next one. Um, Dash, do you have a JPEG at all of your piece? Can you screen cap it and upload it as a JPEG versus the Instagram? I DM'd you the reference photo, by the way. Do you, oh, you put it into Discord? Um, hopefully Discord doesn't show up on <laughs> on stream. Okay. I think we should be good there. Good God, man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Alrighty then. I'll have to remember to close that one out. That's tough. Uh, anyways, <laughs> anyways, I censored it in case it did. Yeah, okay, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. That would have really, that would have really derailed my stream <laughs> for a good minute. Whew. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I see why you get stuck on drawing so much. I'm here to torture. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. Breathing, breathing. Inhale, exhale. Ruth Bader Ginsburg, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Baseball, 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 baseball. Okay, so next one up. <laughs> so much better. Okay, perfect. Think about, I know. <laughs> Think about baseball. Think about baseball. Think about baseball. Okay, so whose piece was this one? I'm talking about the zombie art? Nope. <laughs> Focusing back on that zombie art though. Um, reference was a lot. That was a, that was a good reference. I'm a bit quiet. Hey, no worries, Crimson. No worries. I actually, I love, I love lurking in chats. So um, anybody who lurks here and just chills out. I do not mind at all. Um, uh, I don't know. Whoever submitted this one, are you, guys, are you still around at all? I don't know if you have. I think you were saying something about the feet. Needing help with feet. Drawing legs.
You just gained 22,000 beads to sort. Holy shit. <laughs> That's a full day. I think it was legs. I think it was legs. Yes. I think you're right. I think it was legs indeed. Feel free to critique the shit out of it. Okay. Anything but legs Legs in particular was your uh, struggle. I actually think the legs are not too bad. To be honest. I think the one thing sometimes you can do, this actually is a very classic pose. Um, uh, and I think you, it's actually, I actually struggle with this angle quite a bit. Um, and I think you did a really, really good job with it. So the one thing it looks like you're, you are having problems with is feet, but with feet, um, I tend to I tend to think of the way the bones go, uh, the shin bone, uh, and come down here like off the knee, like this is the kneecap. Um, I think of the kneecap, and I think tend to think of it kind of clamping around, right? Um, so I think your inside is higher. I think your inside is higher. Inside ankle bone is higher than the outside. So I tend to I tend to try to look at it in this way. So if I'm drawing it from this angle, um, I'll look at that that shin bone kind of coming around and clamping around that triangle. And then the insert is that, that foot, that triangle shape, right? Right. And then we have the padding around here. Um, usually we have the, the, the counterposing of the, uh, the calf muscles and stuff. Same with going up here. So, with that in mind, um, we kind of draw that triangle shape that kind of comes out of it, right? So here's the knee, here's that, that shin bone, kind of clamps down into that triangle shape. I think you've got a really good job on it though. The only thing you need to really flesh out now is um, maybe like some of the, uh, the pants, right? SMKL Designs, how you doing? I hope you're uh, having a great day. Thank you for the follow. Actually looking at the torso, but I would build up the structure of it because it seems to flatten out a bit and maybe separate the arm coming across so that you can see the pose. So you see, oh no, don't worry about critiques. Anybody can jump in on critiques too. That's This is a kind of a community critique day. So um, uh, separate the arm coming across from it so you can see the pose more. Oh, you think you think this, this, this arm is kind of blocking stuff? Or it should maybe be like out here more? or maybe in perspective as well, right? So we can have that in perspective. Kind of coming out here. Yeah, we could we could angle him different ways, right? Um, we could turn him. We could do a lot of different stuff with that. I think the feet actually look pretty pretty decent. The only thing is that I'm, I'm maybe seeing, uh, kind of wondering where you're gonna go with um, some of the folds on it, which you, you, you seem to know your folds according to the, what you did at the top. You seem to know folds pretty, pretty well. Um, I just think that you're not finished with it yet. I'm guessing that's what all this stuff is, um, coming down here. So, so in general with folds, the best thing, yeah. Um, so the best thing, it's long in the back and kind of short up front then. Trying to figure it out. I gotcha, I gotcha. Uh, let's see. So with the vest thing, and when we draw folds and stuff, um, one, one kind of easy thing to do, just with anything in general, is just, instead of looking at it as a 3D object sometimes, uh, even with these folds, right? So even with these folds, 
one thing I do is like I draw I draw the lines and the zigzags first, and I don't think about the 3D shape. I think about where gravity and force is going to go. So um, that's kind of how I I draw these folds that would that would go along the bottom here. As I just draw along these lines, like even here, right? I would draw all these lines and think about the the flow of gravity that's going to come off of these. Instead of trying to worry about a big 3D object or a big 3D shape, that's the way that I look at stuff. Anybody has their own different way, you guys can use it, but folds, so folds kind of the same way. Um, if you have the jacket here and it kind of going behind here, um, I'm just kind of drawing the outline of it. And then I can connect all these lines where they come out. Right, and we got that trim. So we put that trim down there. So just just go with your bottom, the bottom of it first, right? Kind of get that evened out. Uh, probably it's, it's if it's that this this long back here, I feel like it's almost going to be on this side too, a little bit. Right, so. Maybe we add another little bit of it over here. Um, I would kind of bring it down a little bit more as well. Because it's really, really, really jumping up. And and if he's swinging that way, I'm feeling like I'm feeling like it would come out in front even. S S to S A. Okay, alright. <laughs> perfect, perfect. Um, just to clear up any any confusion on that, I want to try to get like that orange trim, right? For sure, I don't know what to do with that right that right hand, his right hand. Uh, the person did. Sometimes artists can go too intense with showing. Yeah, for sure, you definitely do not need to uh, show um, every single fold. I kind of want this, given given that this is so short, this feels almost a little bit too long in general, right? Cut that through there. Maybe something like that. So I would make it quite a bit shorter. Let's see how that looks in comparison. So much. It's much shorter. It's not going to have the, quite the big flow of it. But like, it also doesn't look like the the vest is like hanging low, way down to one side. I'd imagine his legs being a bit a bit beefier. I know, well, in that regard, too, you can have uh, dancers with fine legs, too. Um, he does like, he does got the dancer vibe, too. Um, but you're right, like, with maybe more muscle, maybe, like, more calf muscle and stuff. What the heck is that alert? I missed it. I missed whatever the alert was. <laughs> um, how does one activate the ultimate warrior? Uh... You just do. You don't activate the ultimate warrior. The ultimate warrior activates when he wants to activate. I missed whatever alert. What did I miss? Was it a follow? I 
I'm trying to make fantasy clothes. They wanted a tiefling bard with a, with cassonettes. I don't know what cassonettes are. Above the head, my front fingers are fine, but I'm not sure what the bending is happening. Okay. <laughs> you slimmed me down so... <laughs> um, yeah, okay, I just noticed the fingers, too. So, even what we're saying, alright, like, um... So, if he is, if he is, like, a dancer pose, right? So that's the thing, another thing we can kind of go into here. Um... He's activated when he wants to be activated. It's perfectly normal for him not to <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Can you keep your mind out of the gutter, please? Um, updated pick? All right, perfect. Man, I forgot that reference picture was up. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. So if we, if he is kind of a if it, like like hypothetically just because if we're talking about him being a dancer right if we wanted a uh, if we wanted sort of like a uh, dancer pose to him or something like that um, one thing we could go go with is like uh, maybe more of a side profile view to it right like adding a little bit more dynamics. Um, Kicking that leg out a little bit, right? Maybe kind of up on his toes somewhat. Having the hand out like this. Just thinking of different things we could do with poses instead of instead of front poses, right? To show off whatever their whatever these characters' personalities are. My drawing and references will haunt you. I'll slowly all convert you to becoming part of my only fans. <laughs> Bard is a maze that casts uh, using songs and dance as their focus. Okay, okay. So yeah, we can definitely play up that sort of like. Uh, and not that you have to do this now, but just to think in uh, in terms of like down the road, right? Uh, we can definitely play up a lot of that, even that side angle of it. Um, and I think like some people saying with the hands, right? So when in doubt, you finger outy, uh, putting that one finger maybe up into the air. Um, maybe break a pinky off to the side here too as well. Right. So then we can play with the flow of those, of that vest, flow in the background of it. All those different ideas that we have. But yeah, we just break the pinky off. Nobody needs it. We just break it off. All Bob Ross on chat, always, man. What's up, MC? How you doing, dude? So this is just an example of something we can try. A um, little bit, a little bit, just more dynamic of a pose uh, than kind of like a standing there thing, right? So just think about thinking about what these characters are and what they need to do. Um, 
And then just really, really like push stuff. Ordered my own 3D printer. Did you fucking really? How much did that cost? Okay, so so on yours, and we get back to the fingers, right? Um, I don't know if he, he's supposed to be holding the fingers. Well, first we have too many fingers kind of going. So we kind of need to fix that too. Right. I would kind of, just for the sake of like elegance, uh, put that other finger kind of up, maybe. Let's try that. And then have your thumb kind of more out here. If we want the thumb showing at all, that is. Right. Same with this, maybe I would have that more at the top. Then I do the bottom there. Um, I also think down here, because this is like a saggier fabric, so let's kind of show that where it sags down a little bit more towards the bottom, right? Not as much as you think, yeah. What's up, Plank Lurker? What's going on? How you doing, Plank? Lurk away, lurk away. Holding a glass. He does have that sort of like, sort of like elegant look. Um, to him. I think also with these horns, right? So let's measure, measure across here. See where these are. This is a little bit, this feels a little bit too up high. And if we flip it, his hair might be even coming out the other side of this, right? So we look at, if we flip the canvas on him, we gotta make sure that part of the skull is there as well. And maybe like that, that would show through behind his ears, that other side of that horn. Your horns are, horns are really, really, really tough. You erase the castanets? What are the castanets? I don't know what those are. I don't know what those are though. Um, yeah, we're doing good. We're doing good. Um, hope you were doing good as well, Plank. Uh, thank you for being here. What's that thing in his hand? Thing in his hand? There's no thing in his hand. I can't render nowhere near that. Yeah, the, 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 this rendering right here is, looks fucking great. I don't know what castanets are, but I'll bring them back. <laughs> I'll bring them back. I don't know what they are. Um, the clamshell clacker. Oh, that's what those were? Oh, okay. I see. I see. I see. I see now. 
Okay, we need to make we need to make those. Um, what's up, Jalen? Holy shit, man! Studly renders. This is uh, this is Hanayura um, Zart over here. I see what you mean. The castanets, the the clamshell clackers. Okay, perfect, perfect. So, what are we gonna do with those? <laughs> um, is first we're going to make them quite a bit of different color. Than the shading on the on the finger, so right here it looks way too much like they're just part of his hand, in my opinion. They look the the angle you have, the tangent you have going right here, looks like a finger to me. Um, so if he's got those, and I don't know the proper way people hold them, but uh, let's make sure that they don't form a tangent, and let's make sure that they stand out. So. Like, let's really, like, throw those out there. Like, put them out here, you know? And maybe put, and put them in both hands. Like, I know they might be smaller and stuff. But, like, let's make it to where they're clearly, like, in his hands. Does that make sense? Cause this this is looking way too close to um, like the tangent and stuff with his fingers and everything, right? And sometimes even if you're using reference and that's what it looks like in reference, that's some, that's where you have to fudge your reference and uh, and do your own thing just for the sake of the art. So if, does that make sense at all? Is this is this helping you at all? Let me know if there's anything else. But those are those are because those are some of the changes that I would make on yours. And honestly, a lot of it to me, a lot of it could start with um, just seeing where you could go because your rendering is really, really, really good. Exaggerate it, yeah. Exaggerate it and keep it more at the end of it, and watch watch out for your tangents and stuff. Um, like I said, I think that just uh, your rendering is really, really good. Like like Jalen's saying. Um, if you can incorporate some movement into your poses and some different dynamics and stuff down the road, uh, that'll just put your work way, way, way fucking over the top. So, um, all right, let me know if you want to screen capture this at all. If there's anything else you want to ask about, um, let me know. Otherwise, that's, those are my initial thoughts on that one. Also, Jalen, we're doing critiques, man. If you got anything you want to submit, uh, you know the drill, buddy. But yeah, let me know if you want to screen cap it. If you want to screen cap it, let me know when you do screen cap it, and then I'll close it out. I'll move on to the next one. Otherwise, if you guys do miss anything on these, they will be uploaded to YouTube uh, later, and they will be made into a highlighted VOD. So uh, don't stress too much. It'll be up there. Feel free to cut yours out then. Why? Do you not want yours on YouTube? No, you don't. <laughs> I mean, I can cut yours out. Of the logs. Are you calling boobs logs now? What's happening, Queen? <laughs> what is happening right now? Tell me, tell me what exactly you want me to do. <laughs> give me, give me an idea of what, what am I doing? Am I, am I keeping yours in or am I taking yours out? Keep it in. Okay. Okay. Okay, Dash, you didn't have a JPEG on this at all, did you? Let's 
let's see if I can like I don't know what uh, screen what is screen cap on a PC <laughs> I'm so used to Mac controls um, what do I do to get this on a PC command sh control shift all shift Print screen button? I don't know what print screen is button. <laughs> I have a home. There it is. Okay, let's see. Energy of the character. Yeah, that's kind of actually what we were talking about too. Did that not do it? I shared one, you think? Boom, boom, boom. Okay. I see it. Never mind. Gotcha. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Export the JPEG, you swan. <laughs> this is not what I'm doing, though. Um, I'm trying to get dashes up here. Anyway, you can do mine soon. Yeah, you gotta go somewhere. I can just switch your switchers out next. No, it's okay. I got it, Dash. I got it. Um, like a ring or something. Yeah, he kind of feels fancy. I have to start my stream in an hour. Okay. Uh, then let's do. Whoops. Let's do yours. We'll do yours and then dashes. Okay. No, it's okay. We'll get yours taken care of. Crit for everything. You have the technology, just use it for the love of God. <laughs> I'm learning. I'm learning. All right. So just just in case, uh, this will be a this will be a bikini. All right. Okay. Just know it's not finished. Yeah. Yeah. Um. It's no problem. It looked like the best smiley face ever. <laughs> it probably was. It probably was a smiley face. Yes, it's a bikini. It's very much a bikini. Okay, with yours, with yours we're going to tackle uh, things like anatomy stuff. Was it supposed to be a smiley? It definitely came out. <laughs> came out like that. So, um, same things as usual. One thing I, th I think here is your wings are so dark and the hair is dark, they're kind of disappearing. So I would want to kind of like um, break those up a little bit somehow. Right, so, si same, so with the head stuff, head anatomy, right? Um, Look at where the hair is going and flowing over. I think we kind of talked about this before, maybe with yours. Um, I might just have to move that over a little bit for with, to fit with the body. So there's boobies. Yes, what a what a welcome back after class. <laughs> Titties. I mean, what? That's the weirdest bra. <laughs> No, it's a Victoria's Secret thing. Princess Trunks, how you doing? I hope you're doing well. Thank you for being here. How's your day going over there, Princess? Uh, might might look at like something. I'm gonna just kind of tone this down a little bit here, so we can see this right. See that anatomy that we're trying to work on.
How do I get up to 5%? <laughs> um, uh, it, takes, it takes at least uh, a week without mentioning Tom Brady's name once. And then it starts to move back up slowly. Play with the gesture. Yo, Aaron Blake. What's up? Aaron Blake R. What's going on? We're doing good. We're doing good. Today we're doing um, we're doing critique sessions. Uh, 51K of Iowa. <laughs> Do you keep with current with wrestling stuff? I, I try to. Right now I'm really bad at it. Since COVID stuff, I've been way off. Way off. Lost Expert, how you doing? Coloring, Prayer Warriors, what's going on? Lowland Draws, what's up? How is everybody doing? What are you guys up to? Welcome, 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 welcome. I hope you guys are doing great. Uh, Lost us, we're thankful you for the Right now we're doing a critique stream. Um, I'll pop my art back up just so you guys, uh, if anybody is new here from the raid. <laughs> um, I know there's somewhat boobies on the screen. Sonne Silence, thank you so much for being here. Um, Aaron Blake, how was your how was your stream over there? What did you get up to? You're reading reading some nachos? You're reading nachos. You're reading not. I didn't. I never have tried to read nachos before. Dims be my boobies. <laughs> Dims be Queen's boobies. Uh, eating nachos. I was like, <laughs> I've, I've I've eaten a lot of nachos before. I never really cared to read them. Uh, so more power to you. Um, but I'm glad you were having a great day, uh, Princess Trunks. Um, like I said, anybody who is new here today is a critique session. So if you guys have anything that you want critiqued on, drop a JPEG in the chat. We'll critique over that. Um, Broke OBS, lost my face cam. Stream was great. Holy shit, really? Made good progress on a path portrait. Anything, Aaron, anything that you want to show off in stream, uh, drop a JPEG in chat. Let's check it out. Um, anything at all uh, that I can show off to people, your your Instagram, your DeviantArt, your, uh, your art station, whatever you might have been working on today, uh, drop it in chat and let's check that out. Skills is ready to learn a new skill. <laughs> There's a way to indicate on stream or in the enti uh, title you're doing critiques. Um, usually, usually I do, yeah. Usually I put it in the stream title. I realize that people don't read stream titles. They don't really read much of anything. <laughs> so I stopped kind of caring. Um, uh, even like a lot of people ask me like what my social media is. Like where my social media, <laughs> what my social media is up there. Um, uh, even the stuff that Farley is dropping in chat right now. Uh, thank you so much Farley for dropping all that stuff. If you guys want to follow me on any of my social media, though, it's at Scubazar, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, YouTube, Redbubble, uh, Webtoons, all that stuff. Coloring Prayer Warriors, thank you for being here. What's up, Grim? How you doing, buddy? Eating city chicken? We'll talk later. No no worries. No worries. Do it up. Uh, but yeah, those of you guys who are new here, uh, this is the type of stuff that I do. On Tuesdays, we usually do critique sessions. So right now, we're critiquing Queen Artist. Um, peace and chat. Um, but I would love to see what you worked on, Aaron. Uh, drop that in the chat. And uh, let's um, let's uh, let's check you out. Let's share you share off your work with everybody. Um, like I said, thank you for being here, anybody. And feel free to ask any questions. Feel free to drop anything you want critiqued in chat. Any of that good stuff. Uh, that's what we're here for today. And then we're gonna work on a little bit of this and uh, kind of finish up a commission piece here for Peter Rohan. So come through from a raid I had Twitch open four hours ago. What's up, uh, is it plus, plus Hallion? Is that it? I do that a lot. I get so many, I get so many emotes from different Twitch channels. Um, so many emotes. <laughs> um, plush Alien, okay, Plush Alien, I gotcha. Mimi, 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 Mimi. What's up, Mimi? Thank you for the raid, what's going on? Grim is a real bro. Yeah, I, I've I've enjoyed I've enjoyed uh, Grim being here and stuff and hanging out with us. Never learned how to make words. Oh my god, <laughs> I'm just not gonna say that. <laughs> um, uh, I can't get away with that. Um, Mimi, how was your stream? So Aaron Blake, let's show off what you got over here to the people, the good people in chat. All right, so this is Aaron's work. Uh, Aaron, fantastic, fantastic. It looks like colored pencils, right? Um, but fantastic, fantastic realism here. If you guys are interested, and we've talked about like a lot of animal art and stuff like that, but um, I really love like the lighting on the skull is like super, super fucking intense. So if you artists use it for customers, it's great. It's international. Um, it's kind of not a great cut, 
but I don't know any other sites that are to give you a good cut. I really don't know any sites that give you a good cut. Um, you can set your own margins on Redbubble. I think sometimes when people talk about Redbubble not giving a good cut, they also don't set their own margins up. They just set their default margins, uh, and they won't do more because you can ultimately you can chart you can get more more on your margins without charging a whole whole lot extra for your stuff. Um, day five of the dog portrait. Damn, you're on day five of this one. It looks really good. You you're putting actually a lot of color into this. A lot of color into this. I'm doing good, Mimi. Drop. What were you working on? Drop something in chat too, so we can see that as well. Um, but yeah, your realism is so good, man. We were talking about how hard it is to draw hands, and like you draw on some of the hardest angles on hands too. Um, but yeah, guys, go show Aaron some love over there. Seriously, this is really really damn good art. And and I love. It's refreshing to see a traditional artists as well. Uh, Kelly avoids Zazzle. They charge. They charge your, your fees for. Do they really? I did not even know that. That's crazy. Yeah, drop. It's okay. Drop your Instagram. It's okay. I still appreciate the raid, so I still want to show you off. And I know you do art, so I can show off your art. Uh, yeah, drop your Instagram for sure. For sure. Let's check that out. Um, In design part of a school ooh really yeah what do you got to do for it that's insane yeah the the thing is uh like etsy charges you to list stuff <laughs> so like um and they they take your listings down after a while and then you gotta char be charged to re-put stuff back up um go grab food okay okay gotta make dinner yo no worries no worries do it up i know that post stream and you gotta make dinner and do all that stuff so i know what that's like um, but thank you for being here, guys. Go check out Aaron's work, please, please, please. Um, that's really, Kelly, thank you for telling me about that, about Zazzle. I appreciate that. Um, that's really good to know. So this is Beamy's art. If you guys don't know her, she uh, she shows a lot of love quite often. And she has a very, very cool anthro type of Disney style to a lot of her work. Um, I believe we did this critique session for you on this piece, too. Um, and that was a really, really cool piece to check out. You've really challenged yourself with a lot of your lighting stuff uh, lately, and that's really, really cool to see, like, this stuff. Uh, you're on Society6. Do any? Do you know any any sites like those that will put your artwork on mouse pads or uh, gaming pads at all? Plus, Shailene, thank you for the follow. I hope you're doing well. Uh, I need to learn a design that's... It's about making a booklet about eggs and recipes. Oh, okay, okay. Are you doing, like, KDP or something for it? See some Hollow Knight in there? Yeah. I know of Hollow Knight, but I'm not super, super familiar. Is this Hollow Knight? Is this the one that's Hollow Knight? But this is Mimi's Go Show Her Some Love. Like I said, she's fucking awesome. She's really, really amazing. Um, I like this one a lot. This one pops a ton. And then some Final Fantasy, of course. Of course we gotta do some Final Fantasy down here. Uh, fantastic, fantastic work, Mimi. Thank you so much for being here, for showing off your stuff. I, I really, really appreciate that. Um, like I said, today we are doing critique sessions, so uh, if anybody has anything that they want critiqued, um, feel free to drop that into chat, uh, and we will we will get to that shortly. Um, right now is Queen's piece, so this is Queen's sketch, and we're critiquing over that. I'm doing a draw over. These will go up on our YouTube channel, so if you guys want to check it out later. Uh, those links up there that Farley dropped, thank you Farley again. Um, and uh, you guys can check those out too. So I'm between chicken. <laughs> uh, I love dropping in. Yo, no worries, no worries, man. Uh, thank you for being here. I appreciate it. Those online shops, yes, a lot of people don't realize this, but um, when you order, like, say, like, if, if you order like a $40 hoodie from me, I make about three or four bucks on it total. Um, and the, the advantage is that. I don't have to print it, I don't have to stock it, I don't have to do anything but set up my design. But I don't think a lot of people realize that um, artists aren't making all that money, or even close to all of it, that you that you uh, buy their, equip, their, their merchandise from. A lot of print shops, if you can get into a good print shop, you might make um, 50 to 60% off your print, I think. Um, a print online store, so... Um, yeah, that's something that just people got people got to know about. 
University studying graphic design. Okay, okay. It's pork tenderloin or pork butt rolled in, into batter. So it's not actually chicken. <laughs> not actually chicken, I gotcha. Okay, so this is Queen's piece. Uh, like I said, we're doing little critiques and stuff. Um, so we're jamming out her submission right now. I know she's kind of making food over there. But uh, this will also be on the VOD. You can watch later as well. I should buy some merch. It's really, really cool. I love having, um, having selling merch and, and having people like wear my designs on clothing and shit. But like, uh, also just kind of got to realize that we don't make all that money too. So we're not like loaded um, with that, and and we get nickel and dimed on taxes and stuff as well. City chicken because of where and when it was made. Oh, okay, okay. Sounds that sounds damn good though. Uh, and you go to bed now. It's midnight. And I've been working in the morning. Oh shit. Okay. All right. We'll come back if you're still alive. I probably will be. <laughs> I probably will be, Mimi. Uh, have a great, great night over there. Okay. Thank you for stopping in. Thank you for being here. I appreciate all that. Really, really do. So we're just kind of editing a little bit of this. Um, and I think just kind of with going where the flow of the body goes. Have to go. Hey, thank you for coming by and hanging out. Uh, nice to accidentally find you. Yeah. <laughs> it was nice to accidentally meet you too. Um, thank you, Plush Alien. Have a great, great night over there, okay? Thank you for being here. Have a great night. So I'm gonna cover clothes as well here. Right, let's see, we have that. Let's drop this opacity down a little bit more just so we can kind of see what we're doing here. Kind of get that clavicle going. Like, I know she's using reference, but, um... We can also kind of fudge our references as well. The one thing I kind of want to focus on somewhat is her, her clothing here. So she stretched back. That arm kind of comes back here. And I'm wanting to erase this. Scoobs, I went to get food. Oh my god. I know, I didn't do that much. It's okay. <laughs> You can always watch the watch the VOD. Um, but I'm kind of just showing them how we can sort of pull back that shoulder. And what I was kind of saying was like adding in this this little bit of clavicle. Even if she's got a little bit more thickness, we can still have that that kind of clavicle showing and it kind of helps direct it kind of helps just direct the um, the angle on the shoulders but your your big thing I kind of wanted to work on was clothing actually more than more than anything is what I saw we could work on some stuff um, so we kind of connect the nipple lines on boobs to help them line up uh, pinch points and pull points on clothing is something we work on Get into lino cut so I can print my own shirts, but just for me, I'm not I'm not trying to make some money on it. My art is also probably not. Your art is always at a level um, 
so don't don't think that. Let the customer think that first of all, right? Every artist will beat themselves up and say that they're not good enough. Um, however, I do understand making making stuff for just yourself right now, but it never hurts to just throw stuff on a Redbubble either, right? If you want to get out there, just start throwing stuff up. You never know. I shall sin to become the true oh God. <laughs> It was made during the Depression in cities like Pittsburgh, New York. Uh, instead of buying instead of chicken, they used pork or veal because it was cheaper. Really cheaper than chicken? I would have thought chicken would have been cheap. That's kind of interesting. I also don't like that nose as much. Right, and so then with the necklace too, um, we kind of find the center point in the body because it's it's sort of like, um, and we could still have it swaying a little bit, but just remembering like it's like with everything, it's got a it's got a it's got a gravity point. So like finding that gravity point with the body, kind of like with the folds too. These are like with folds, same same shit, right? We have pinch points and pull points. So uh, finding where it's going to pinch in the elbow and where it's going to pull and sag down on the other end of things, right? Why traditional is hard, I can't really change stuff. It's okay. I mean, the same, the same things apply though. The same things apply. Um, and these are things that you will learn as you go, right? Like, take these lessons, and even if you don't change stuff, like a lot of times I take critiques and I don't change stuff right away, um, but I will, uh, I will take those lessons into my next drawing, right? So even if she is a little bit thicker uh, and we don't see all the clavicle, we're going to even sometimes just have those little collarbones right there. With ink white out from Dr. Martin's bleed proof white color water, watercolor cover up quickly. Um, oh, it's a Polish dish, really? City chicken. I mean, it sounds good though. Uh, also, so her hand down here, let's look at the size of her hand. I think it's going to want to be much smaller, actually. So your hand and your face, right? Kind of think about those, right? Um, if you're measuring those out. Thick or thin? Thick. I don't know. I don't know what we're talking about. <laughs> um, but I'm thinking food. Right, so you've got a little bit of the counterposing here, right? So you've got good, We get, now we have good angles with the shoulders going this way, the hips going this way. So the hips kind of coming up here. So we change stuff up there. Um, if the wings are coming out of her back, we need to make them coming out the same, the same side, right? That means if this one's going to come out here, of the shoulder blade, this one's going to come out of this side of the shoulder blade. Right? It's probably not going to be over here. Um, I mean, it can kind of go out there, but like... Anything I can get, <laughs> the whole concept was spawned because I messed up on the boob shading. The whole thing was spawned out of that? It looks kind of like she's sitting on yours, but uh, I can't really tell. 
It looks like she's sitting, I'm not sure. So, so legs, right? We have this curve in here that you drew, but really that's not, that's not how it's gonna go, right? So think of, that leg's not gonna cave in that much. Um, think of it as these tubes sort of like going out. And give it, especially if it's foreshortening, if it's coming at us, then like let's give it a little bit more thickness and room to work with. Um, traditional is hard, but in my opinion, in my opinion, it has its own difficulties. I feel like you go through three phases. The Yankee drawing phase where you get used to drawing on a tablet. The somewhat uncanny phase where you figure out the tools of your art program. Then you get to the phase where it looks like, it looks like you intend it. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's all, I mean, it's all growing pains, right? Figuring out what you're doing with everything. I do think digital art helped me learn, to be honest. Um, it helped me learn a lot because I was able to make a lot more mistakes without throwing away a, a piece. So I took a lot more chances. Right, okay, so, so like I was saying, mainly your main thing I think I want you to work on too is your clothing here. Right, instead of kind of like these sort of like half lines, uh, don't be afraid to just show as much of it as you can. I think you kind of do that on the body as well. Like, if, if we're going to go traditional and we want to show some shading and stuff like that, we don't really want, I don't really want to see like these lines. We don't necessarily need to see that because we're, we're showing it with the shading. Right? So we don't need to see like these hard lines and stuff. We're, we're, if we're in between shading and um, line work, like let's lean towards let's lean towards one or the other. So maybe if we went in here with the pencil brush, like you can do this with um, Is my body shading looking good? Um, let's look at it. I think the I think the lines are a little bit too hard if we we're gonna be doing one or the other, to be honest. Um or they looked a little bit too much like lines right now, right? So this is going to be the tricky thing with it. It's just kind of if we can blend these out. If if that's what we want to do, then 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 like let's kind of lose some of these lines. Grab this brush, cut down a amount of paint, right? Um, I think your belly button probably is more down here as well. I think you're kind of showing these top abs. which I think she's much softer on the reference. These are my base layers, okay. Line work is pins, I'd say more direct with the, where the lighting is. Everything just kind of looks the same. Yeah, that's that's true. There's no, there's not a whole lot of indication, I feel like, on, on where my light sources are coming from, right? Um, so even like in here. We can hit some of that, right? So I'm assuming it's kind of a top-down thing. There's usually like this terminator line that goes along the ridges of curves and stuff that's a little bit harder, a little bit darker. Farley does excellent work with realism. That's one person I would study too. If you wanna if you wanna get your uh, your shading down much better. 
So even like pulling up this is gonna be dangerous. Pulling up the uh, the references. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> um it looks like a lot of we got a lot of shading here. Light is going to be coming from the left from here. Okay, so then this side of the boob, right? We're going to get shading on. We have some rim light. Like we have a little bit more light up here. So let's just kind of look where we have shading. These aren't really blending out super great. Um, out, out here, see where the abs kind of cut? This is like a, think of this as like a, a curve in the body. So the more on this side is actually gonna be hit with like less and less light because this actually curves down. Right here might be actually like a little pop-up area. Uh, where we actually get a little bit of light that kind of hits it. Hits that hip area. But over here, We're actually tuning out more and more of that light and dark and dark and dark and darker shadows because that side of the body actually curves away from it. Same within the abs. As these abs kind of curve over, like, like make this shape, right? We have those contours to figure out. So. On the back side of those contours is where we get our, our shading. Things like that. Um, too scared to go too dark? Uh, it's okay. You will, you will learn. You will learn. Don't think every piece has to be perfect as well. Be fine, be fine with being scared to go dark on stuff. You will learn. Uh, this is one thing that, I, that helped me a lot was be fine with, um, when I was working with Copix, I was really noodling around and halfway between a lot of these. And uh, it only helped me once I kind of just got ballsy and just went in there. Um, that's not down the center line, but you know what I mean. A lot of this is her anatomy and stuff. So we kind of figured that, but we kind of worked on it there, you know. Um, so on her anatomy, if we take my drawing, for example, which was just trying to trace it over years, so uh, I would kind of want to take her tummy up a little bit more. So I think it's a little bit too long in proportions. Now that I'm looking at it in comparison. Embrace your fears of falling in love with the fictional woman. <laughs> um, okay. So, does this make sense? Is there anything else on this that maybe we need to cover? Um, oh, the 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 uh, the falling um, falling wings or the feathers and stuff. So, one thing we can do with that is we can not not just behind her, but maybe like in front of her have a few, um, and just maybe a little bit more chaotic. If there's a pile of them, if there's a pile of them, like this looks like a bed. If there's a, if there's a pile of them, like let's uh, really kind of make it look more like a pile. And let's leave a lot less open space, like right here. Like really kind of pile them up, if that's what we want it to look like. And then we kind of break out as we get further away. It's the same thing when, when we draw stars or anything like that. I think we've given lessons on that. It's like, or snow, snowflakes, or whatever. We can kind of put a lot of things around each other, and then as we get further away, we, we tend to uh, break it out a little bit more.
How I do that? Can you show me how to make a pile? Yeah, we can kind of go over the pile thing, right? So like, I'm just kind of making this just general shape and this is going to be where, where my pile is going to be. Um, right, and then I'll put things on, I'll put them on, I'll layer that stuff on top. But a lot of shadow and stuff will sort of break up. So we don't have to draw every every fucking wing underneath here. Because a lot of it's going to be covered in shadow from the wings on top. And having some break out, break the, sort of break the mold on stuff. Also, since the nips, uh, gotta head out. Yo, ketchup, have a great, great night. Uh, um, you take that well-deserved break. <laughs> I will try my best. I will try my best, for sure. Lurk for D&D? Yeah, lurk away, dude. Lurk away, man. Good luck tonight on the game. So the pile's all going to be kind of about negative shape and uh, and areas of cluster as well. Now she's looking sultry, trying to make that stuff for OnlyFans. Got to make that cash. <laughs> Pretty much, it's a fucking market, right? So we just kind of keep adding these in. And obviously, you want to make these kind of look more like feathers and stuff, but... And if she's sitting on something, man, we gotta, we gotta make it definitely look like a bed. Or she's sitting on something. Right, so people, so people know. Like, there's something there. I think it's, I think it's too ambiguous right now. Uh, what she's sitting on or whatever. It just looks like it's falling down. But then it's not right here. It's like there's something there. So like I said, pile, shadows underneath these things. Then just kind of build on top of it. Hadn't decided, yeah. Like I said, we can kind of group them in twos and threes, falling down. How I can fix the anatomy at this point? Honestly, it's it's okay though. Just just um, if it, there's inks and stuff on it, it's okay. Move on to your next drawing. Do a lot of drawings. Move on. Uh, how to sit on track? <laughs> uh, do a lot of drawings to the point where like um, this is not going to be such a big deal. And in a week, you'll be over this drawing because you'll have made two more. You know. Um, that's what I say. That's how you will fix when you, when you're getting to this point and you're stuck on stuff, uh, and you can't go backwards really. That's when you, um, that's when you just do a lot of stuff and you, you just move so fast from one thing to the next that you're, you're taking the lessons you learn instead of using them on critiques. If you can't change it, then you're going to use them on that next piece. Right. Um, so it's up to you. I mean, you can redraw the whole thing if you want, but uh, you already put a lot of time in this. I would just move on to the next piece and use these lessons for the next piece. Um, 
Okay, is there anything else at all that you uh, that you kind of want to ask about? The thing that helped me the most as an artist, really, or one of the things that helped me the most as an artist, really, is just uh, uh, doing lots more, lots and lots, lots more work. So I'm not attached to one piece, and when I notice a mistake, I've just moved on. A lot of people won't won't care. Screenshot, okay, yeah, do it up. So that's kind of a lesson to you guys is, is do so much work that you're not attached to like one piece in particular. If you fuck it up, you fuck it up and you just move on. That's all it is. What's up, Barry? How you doing? One piece? <laughs> Fun, fun, funification uh, group cam. What's going on? How you guys doing? Thank you so much for the follows. Um, but yeah, let me know when you got this. What I'm gonna do during my stream? Start a new one. You know what I mean? Start it. Start new ones. There's plenty. Of, there's plenty of models out there. <laughs> there are plenty of things out there for you. Okay, so then we got um, without nips, without nips. There was no nips on that one. That was all like a sheer, a sheer one Under Armour shirt. That's what that was. <laughs> it was all Under Armour, so it's all good. Um, okay, so this is Dashius, I believe. I don't know if this is a Digimon. What is what is this Dash? Looks like a bay here. I don't know what that is. Three-legged dragon pupper. I think so. What's up, Mizzy? Mizzy, how are you? Start stream. Okay, no worries, no worries. Uh, go do it up, queen. Uh, go have a good stream over there, okay? Okay, so this one's going to come down to like some animal anatomy stuff. So we have to kind of look at that. Um, uh, I think Keiko is a great artist to follow for uh, for different anime, an, animal anatomy. He's got some things on his his Instagram, so I'll uh, I'll shout him out here. Um, Keiko, I think it's Keiko Art. Um, he's a streamer, and uh, he's got a great Instagram. And he's been doing anatomy studies and stuff like that. So a lot of bone structure, a lot of stuff like that. That's what you're kind of looking into when you do stuff like this. Um, Mizzy, how have you been? Uh, has six legs, what you talking about? Three-legged dragon puffer. Um, I think on each side, each side is two dragon puffers put together to make one of these. Oh, you've been lurking? All right, all right, fair enough, fair enough. I appreciate the lurk, that means a lot. It's good seeing you again. I hope life has been treating you well, though. Um, so, on this guy. On this guy, kind of what we're looking at, um... We're going to look at a few things like, I think you're shading. Trying to get your scribble on? Do you got, uh, do you got uh, commissions to do or what? What you got on the list today? So, so I think what's really good with this stuff is to find, let me go to a new layer, to find sort of animal references and shit. Um, to look at like the different shoulder bones and, and how how animal um, feet are a little bit different, right? They kind of, they just they just have different, different angles to them. Right, and so like a lot of, a lot of these, a lot of these animals, they'll have like the hip kind of going out and, and then back here with the shin and then the paw. So we might have that. With the tail, the tail kind of coming out there as well. Like if we have the tail kind of going up here through there, it's kind of come out through here as well. Um, so we have the shin kind of going out. Um, another thing we want to do is we want to just make sure we line up everything. 
So this is if this is lined up in perspective, let's line up this this leg with it as well. Right. Let's line it up with this middle leg right here so we keep those kind of the same. Getting angry at a skeleton teddy bear. Fur got first got you stumped. Yeah. I usually think of fur in terms of clumps more than anything. Like doing clumps like this instead of each individual. Each individual hair. Instead of trying to do like that shit, I try to do like clumps. I don't know if that helps or <laughs> makes sense at all. Um, Okay, so back on this. No, now we kind of get down to where the, the paws are, or the claws, right? So we kind of have that same idea with, with people feet, we have that same idea where there's that triangle there. But usually with hooves, it's gonna, it's gonna stick out a lot, lot less. A lot, lot less, right? And then we add the claws and the toes to it. Looked on and off, had to make sure my food, uh, my food try video made it up. Your food try, okay. <laughs> no worries, no worries. Um, yeah, we're just doing crits today, Kat. So I hope, I hope you're having a good day over there. So on this too, then we're gonna throw out, same thing with the human jaw, right? We have that human jaw. Um, and we have that sort of like that fat pad that can move. Animal jaw is kind of the same thing, right? Like here might be the bone structure and here might be the neck, but there's like that fat pad that connects it. Right in there, it's like that little triangle delta shape. So we have it right going through right there. And I guess it goes underneath the tummy. Dragon basilisk, but I messed up along along the way. I'm not totally sure what a basilisk is, but uh, I think it's Lord of the Rings, right? I can't see it in my head. Either way, I mean, it could be it could be kind of whatever you want it to be, right? But there's certain things with animal anatomy we can do to kind of. Uh, make it appear more as, as, as an animal, right? Or at least at least find our little mistakes that we have, like things like at where the tail should come up and where it should come out of the body, right? It's got to come. It's got to follow that spine. So it follows that spine down, and also attaches to the underbody and the stomach. So, so it might even be a little bit more in shadow down here where that tail comes through. Um, as far as the claws now, like you have kind of claws going off different directions. Uh, and usually paws aren't going to move a ton. Oh, Harry Potter? Okay. Right, so we kind of keep these all a little bit more grouped together than we would hands. If, if we want claws to be able to move around a lot more, we're going to make them a lot, lot more like fingers. Right, so longer, but if we have shorter, Shorter claws, shorter paws, they're going to have less room to move because they're just going to be stuck in there, right? So these are going to probably be quite a bit close together and not going to be like branching out so much. Um, same thing back here, right? So we're, we're kind of fixing these, the, the legs and stuff, thinking about how animal legs go back. They tend to go back in, into receding areas and then they go with a paw. So we can do that even with the sh the shading. I would actually have these. I feel like are a little bit close together. So you probably want his back leg almost being like back here somewhere. 
and his front leg kind of being being up here. Okay, so now when we turn it down a little bit, um, we kind of see where our our drawing's headed. Whoops. He's not he's not furry, is he? Like hairy. He's not, okay, okay. So then we now we, we look at the skull structure, right? Of whatever this animal is. Here's the jaw. Here's a typical skull. Let me put that cartilage over it. Um, usually the eyes, the eyes are gonna be bigger than this. Come out a little bit more, right? If he's got horns, horns usually sit up a little bit more on top. I don't know if those are horns or not, but they kind of sit a little bit more on top. Dragon eyes are usually like slits. Uh, go give him a little bit of uh, under eye bags for character. He's not sleeping well either. Just like every, every one of us. <laughs> He's kind of getting tired and sleepy. Teeth, teeth kind of curve back in uh, in a lot of a lot of animals, so they're kind of they're kind of like this, right? So when they bite their food, um, it'll go in like a hook and it, it can't pull out. Chunky boy, ha head to butt length. I mean, makes makes some, oh yeah yeah. Uh, the spine the spine spurs are the typically evolved as a defense mechanism of prey. What could possibly what could possibly hunt another dragon? A dra another dragon. <laughs> Oh, um, a dragon hunting, hunting another dragon. Most of the time dragons do have spines, right? Little spines on them. Maybe it's, maybe it's against humans. Okay, so we can have the teeth kind of back here. Um, one thing, one thing I would do like with your shapes here, we talk about big, medium, small, right? So you have like the, these kind of these. I don't know what these are. If they're going to be horns, if they're going to be like more tendons, um, but we can also divide these up into like that big, medium, small grouping as well, right? We have to make them all the same size or spaced out. Um, we can kind of we can kind of make some some a little bit bigger, some a little bit smaller, just whatever you want to do. But it's things we can think about. Geriatric comic book artist always streaming so early in the day. Isn't it past your supper time? <laughs> so early in the day. <laughs> Did you just wake up? What's up, Siege? See that like man. Uh, maybe they're looking. Maybe they're looking. Fa maybe they are looking fancy for the ladies. Um, a sea monster. A sea monster could hunt him. Oh, you just sat down. Yeah. What you been doing all day, man? Right, so, so then if we do have spines, KCM, KCM, thank you so much for the follow. Hope you're having a great night over there. How are you doing? How's things going? Um, same with wings. We talked about with wings with with uh, with the piece that uh, Queen did. So you have one wing that's kind of like going out here, but then you have the other wing kind of like here, right? So the wings come out of the same space on the back. If we draw the line, it kind of goes over it. We find out where that wing is. If one wing is kind of going this way, then the other wing is going to be the same shape. Um, so if we have that one wing kind of coming up front, then we need to make that other wing the same as well, right? Oh no, shit! Kyle came by. Yeah, 
Sounds fun, man. What'd you guys do? Heard a lot of good things about you. Who's telling you that? <laughs> Who the fuck is saying that shit? Um, they're lying. But thank you. Yeah, something wrong with the wings. Basically, what you have going on here is you have one wing kind of... You have the two wings doing two different things. This one, this one in the foreground looks a little bit anemic in comparison, right? Um, versus like when we kind of just do this. Damn, my community is lying to me. Who's in your community lying to you right now? <laughs> nice haven't seen. I was gonna say, man, it's probably been a, it's probably been quite a while since since you and Kyle hung out. Also, I like I like whatever those fucking emotes are that you got. Like, holy shit, did you do those? I'm amazed at how good that color pops on your emotes. I do be known for emotes from time to time. Those are really, 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 really fucking slick, dude. They, like, those, those, like, they have a lot of detail in them, but they still read really well. That's a hard thing to do. So then we have the folds, or the, sort of like the, fa not fabric, whatever it's called. Sleepy. Um... Yeah, those of you guys who are new here today, though, we're doing critique sessions. If anybody has anything they want to submit to be critiqued, uh, feel free to. Uh, we do this every Tuesday, usually. Although, in the future, I may be taking some Tuesdays off because uh, I just got a lot more stuff to handle. So, for now, though, today, we're all about critique sessions. I'm working on a segment of my podcast script, best worst Marvel characters and why, or favorite least, fav favorite least favorite, if any that is, best and worst. I mean, I can say probably like my favorite is probably Spider-Man. As lame as that is. Uh, worst, I don't know if I have a worst, though. I don't know if I can think of a worst, one that I really, really hate. There's probably like a lot that I don't like. <laughs> um, or they just bore me. A lot, I suppose. Spider Man, and I don't. I, I like Spider Man, and I don't know why. How about that? I'm a big Spider Man fan, and I just don't don't really know why. Maybe there's something about identifying with him. Who knows? Okay, anyways, anyways, the whole idea, the idea is that the wings kind of go the same shape, right? And they kind of come in the same place on the body. Um, and we cover things with a jaw, we cover things with the leg shapes, um, so lots of those things. Is there anything else in particular you want to you wanna ask about, Dash? Hot Topic has completely ruined Deadpool. <laughs> I have Top Top ruined. What's up, Panziv? How you doing? What's going on, Panziv? Think we good? Okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, all right, do you want to screen cap this at all? Let me know if you want to screen cap it for your use. Um, I'll leave that underneath there. Uh, let me know when you get that and grab that. Just I'm just doing this for Jalen, to trigger Jalen. Because <laughs> I don't want to save stuff and upload it later. What's damn it? 
You got a screen capped? What a great day. Nice. I'm glad you're having a good day. I'm glad you're having a good day over there. Okay, next next one up, next one up. <laughs> Fucking reference, man. I guess I can take that down. Mm -hmm. Mentoring day, that's good. Yo, Spicy, what up, dude? How you doing, man? What's going on, buddy? How's life your way, Spicy? I'm doing okay, dude, I'm doing okay. Kind of, kind of sleepy, sleepy. But uh, other than that, we're okay, man. Kind of started crashing like 20 minutes ago. <laughs> Yo, working on 3D modeling, nice. How's it coming along? Another day, another day, yeah. But it sounds like you're having fun with it over there. Okay, whose was this one? I don't know if they're still around. Um, I will, just in process of it right now, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, Panzev likes some 3D modeling. 3D modeling is very, very, very fucking impressive. Okay, Toonie, Toonie, what on this do you like? What, what do you want to work on? Um, let's kind of talk it out. Let's see what's, where, what direction we should be going on this. Let me know what you're feeling. I, I, I dig it too. I like the style quite a bit. Um, usually stylistically cartoony things like this can be a little bit trickier to critique on uh, because you don't want to get in the way of somebody's style. Um, so you kind of you kind of have to know like what they're struggling with, uh, what they're vibing with. Uh, what different things you can add to it without taking too much away, you know? How you feeling, Sacred? This got this feels like yeah, it definitely feels Tim Burtonish. I'm I'm not really into studying anatomy and bone structure. Does it show does it show my drawings and maybe they talk about the overall vibe and composition, thick and line. I think sometimes some places you probably got to thicken some line work on it. Um, yeah, um, or at least have consistent line work because some areas you do have thick lines like around some of these envelopes and stuff. I actually think the composition was pretty damn good. Um, One thing is that it's so, it's kind of so bright to me. Uh, and like you mentioned, the little line work and stuff, like, I think you can benefit from some sort of consistency in thicks and thins on this stuff. Just my take on it, right? Uh, and I'm even thinking maybe like some some kind of border around here, just because this is, this feels kind of flat with the yellow. Um, if we went around there, maybe with the border, on the hands because it's so cartoony. Like I I don't worry about it too much. It does work in that respect. Um, it's very cartoony. You don't need it super anatomically correct. Um, one thing I'm thinking of to kind of. give you a little bit more is adding like and, and this kind of goes with the thicker line work around the edges and stuff is adding a little bit more of uh, dark areas 
into here. So maybe just try like the outline areas. The whole background on Night Sky, yeah. If you did, if you did like um, something with the background, even uh, because it's so it's so white, it comp and he's so he's so light as well. Not having that, it just a, there's a lot of brightness with it to me right now. Um, but if you even added like a color in the background, like Jalen is saying, like that alone might pop it too, right? Um, Let's see if this will even work. Right, so we can quick fill with CSP, uh, just for example. Try a lot of different things with stars. I feel like clothing should look baggy since it's a. I feel like clothing should look baggy since it's a skeleton. It could maybe, yeah. It could maybe, yeah, yeah. Although I kind of also see, see him being skinny, like skinny jeans. Uh, <laughs> skinny jeans because he's a skeleton. But yeah, I, I could see that too, right? You got Chinese, what'd you get, man? Background was actually clear, just added a background for the... Oh, so it was going to be uh, like a, a PNG, transparent thing. Okay. I mean that works too. That works too, though. If if that's the case, then I definitely think um, I recommend definitely uh, making your lines making your lines thicker on the outside so they pop out more, um, and maybe adding some design on the yellow around the border of that too. Like I said, adding so like adding the darks to to his eyes, adding the darks around here, um, the dark shadows and stuff. Um, all that stuff just kind of helps helps add a little bit dimension as, as well to it. Um, yeah, I, I, I am having a little bit of trouble figuring out what's, what he's holding in his hand. I think it's a pencil and maybe a letter. Um, so like those might be areas we gotta figure, like what is what has he got here and here? Tell me. So maybe we can just figure out how to show those off as well. Singapore Mifan, what is that? <laughs> Hope you're enough to share with the class. Not a fucking chance. Those are noodles. Okay, okay. It's an ink pen. It's an ink pen. Okay. So skeleton hands are, are really, really pretty tough to do. Um, let's see if we can show an ink pen. Like this, this is kind of not reading too well for me personally, but that's sometimes where we gotta we gotta fudge stuff a little bit too, right? Um, so if he's holding an ink pen, maybe we just draw. bones and then I think we'll need to figure out how to make it like a an actual pin instead of instead of all the tiny fingers because it, this already is such a tiny picture let's just maybe make one or two digits and kind of connect them instead of having them floating because it looks like he's got a he looks like he's got like a piece of paper here. So we're going to have the piece of paper written right there.
Please, oh, please sign this pose? Okay, okay. I mean, I guess that could kind of work. Especially if we add some text in to it, right? Um, that could be another thing too, right? Like we could have text here, text here as like a border, right? But, um, so yeah, like adding, I would, I would keep away from like the super small detail on stuff and um, try, to, try to stay big, big and generic shapes because the small detail, the floating knuckles and stuff are gonna give you, they're gonna be very, very, very lost um, with as small as it is, right? I would also maybe add like one more, I don't know why, I just feel like one more floating envelope rather than just have one sticking out here. I might add like a trail of them. Or like a bunch, like we talked about earlier, like putting a bunch, putting a bunch wherever the chaos kind of starts. And then, and then it spreads out as you go. Maybe some fall back behind there. Looks like the mail is going to be coming to a dead, <laughs> a dead halt. Da -dum -dum. All right. The head's not too big because it's, it's so cartoony. The head's not too big because it's so cartoony. I think it's fine. Um, I think it works. Postmortem? Is it? Okay. Okay. <laughs> See, that's kind of good. You could you could work that title in to uh, surround it as well, right? Um, even you could have, you know, uh, since we didn't have a border, we're talking about a border on this, right? Uh, you could have the text even, if you wanted to, come out of the... Uh, Or even have it spelled going backwards in a way. Just whatever, different ideas. But I bet, yeah, you can just try different things. Just try different things. Now, stuff kind of goes out the window when things get this style. Yes, that's exactly it. And you don't want to, you don't really want to fuck with people's style too much when it's when it's like this because it doesn't it doesn't matter too much. Um, what matters is that you can read it and you can tell what it is. Um, and as long as I can know what's going on. So the big things there is just like, we added that those black shapes into it a little bit to help things pop out a little bit more. Um, and we added, uh, let's see. We added that into it and we added, and we cleared up the hands. So we know what's going on with the hands now. Cause that's just, too tiny and too unreadable like that. Um, even if we got to make it a little bit bigger than a receipt would normally be, uh, let's let's do that. That way people know what it is. Always always err towards the side of like uh, letting people know exactly what your story is in a drawing. If that makes if that makes sense. All right. So anything else at all? Um, and then let me know if you want to screen cap this. Want to save it on your end uh, before I close it out. Um, and then we'll move on to the next one. Oh my God, critiques. Yeah, what a fun thing to do. Yeah, we try to do it every Tuesday, Panza. We try to do critiques, big critique sessions. Um, and these go up, these end up going up on the YouTube channel as well, so people can learn from those as well, so. Oh, Mizzy, just drop a JPEG into chat. Drop a JPEG or PNG into chat, uh, link to something. Uh, like off imager or something like that and then I'll I'll post it up um, I think we have one more So tune let me know when you when you get this and then I can take it down Yeah, yeah, just drop it into chat like a link a link to a, a web a web jpeg or something like that got it. Okay 
Yo, Ben, have a good night, buddy. I need to go take care of some lawn work. Oof, shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do that, man. Uh, enjoy, I guess. Do your best to enjoy it. Um, thank you for being here, dude. I appreciate it. How do you do that? Like, do you can you go upload it to Imager or or maybe a Discord and then and then copy and paste the link into chat? Try to make a drawing for next time. Okay, yeah. If you got anything you want to, you want looked over, um, feel free to submit it. <laughs> okay, then we got masters. <laughs> I hate you guys. Um, Got no drawing? Oh, it's okay. It's okay. If you don't have anything, you don't have to uh, submit it. Um, like I said, these are, if people don't have stuff, it's okay too. <laughs> so this is Masters8, who is playing D&D &D right now. Of course, he dropped this shit off and then ran away to play D&D. &D. <laughs> uh, it looks like he's kind of working a vectory style. Working on... I should have submitted something I was working on. It's okay though, honestly. Like I submit finished work um, all the time for for critiques, and I don't necessarily like like go back and change it. But I learn I learn a lot on what to do the next piece that comes out. You like the font on the shirt, yeah? <laughs> um, so Masters usually does emotes, uh, but I think he's learning to make more illustrator drawings and stuff, and. Uh, I want to know what programming is. He's, he's doing D&D right now, so I kind of want to know what program he's working on. Um, okay, this is yours, more Busy. Sweet. We'll look, we'll get that too. You did a new thing? Do you got the new thing you want? What should I apply on burned skin? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, lavender oil? Love it. I uh, No, I have no idea what imager is. Oh, 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 that's the new thing. That's... <laughs> that's the new. Okay. Um, yeah, it's really, 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 really useful for, like, sharing. Uh, like, kind of, like, up-to-date stuff. You can just upload it to shit, and it's there. You can put caramel on burn? Isn't caramel just cooked down sugar? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so on this, I think we're looking at a lot of vector lines, um, illustrator lines. Um, there's no real pin pressure on this, so I'm going to kind of critique this as if you had pin pressure. Uh, <laughs> just throw this away. He's not even here. I should just skip this totally. <laughs> um, like wrinkled silk. That's a good portrait flog. It's not. <laughs> it's. It's not. Masters is in trouble. He's in so much trouble. Okay, so kind of the same shit we've talked about earlier before is like, things things like with the neck, things stuff like that, right? Um, Okay, so just making the neck like thinner, thinner with you guys. Um, instead of like these sort of like these big, these big shapes, right? Uh, we gotta, we gotta kind of remember to work on that. The big, the thickness on like a neck. If you want a thick neck, it's gonna come from more like your traps usually, right? Um, than it is these other different shapes, or these, than it is like the actual neck. Um, 
So that's one thing to think about. Uh, let's see, on here, peroxide, cool shower then before bed. Uh, another thing with the ears, so ears will line up. Ears will line up. If we go around the side of the face, the ears will line up with the eyes and the bottom of the nose. So ears right here. So we look at that. We'll kind of fill this hair in a little bit. Ears are going to be more right here. All right, bring them down a little bit. Toilets with hydrogen peroxide? I think so. But there's a reason you clean toilets with <laughs> Um, saying we probably want some eyebrows if he's if he's if the hat's going that far up right uh nose kind of look down the center of the face so we, let's kind of same stuff little things that we can kind of fix uh right off the bat by just kind of keeping these center lines in place Coconut oil, but I am afraid it might infect it. Coconut oil is supposed to be antibacterial, right? Why is this not working at all? Oh, that's why. Okay, so we match that up. We match up hair. Sometimes we can have a little bit more texture in hair. Um, uh, as far as the hat goes, or these these sort of like, whatever these things are, these things would be probably like on top of that, I'm guessing. Um, I don't know why I'm critiquing this. <laughs> um, so these things would probably come out of the top of the hat, or at least be on top of the hat. Right here and here. And then because of the hat doesn't usually have these lines in the front, these lines are more on the side, right? And then the logo is usually in the middle. Same with that button thing, it's usually on top of the hat. Uh, the ribbons, when we do our ribbons, we can do a little bit more texture with them or a little bit more curve with them and not these sharp edges. So our ribbons kind of curve in towards the middle. <laughs> These were toilets. It showed you a toilet. <laughs> uh, um, it does help clean toilets? Maybe it does. I don't know. I guess you can use it for whatever you want, right? Okay, clothing. Same thing. Clothing. Uh, wrapping around stuff, right? Same, same idea with the ribbons. It's like... So these hard sharp edges on stuff, like uh, giving it giving it more softness.
Same with hair. Okay, with hair, um, with hair, one thing we can do with hair is that we don't need so we need these things exactly the same. Like, one thing that can kind of spice hair up is that we we have like different links between these strands, and they're not just the same all the way down, right? And they can flow in different angles. I would kind of add a little bit of, I don't know, something to the side. I think this has, I don't know if this has these white lines, but it feels like it needs broken up with something. Or just thrown in the trash, I don't know. Add some muscle. <laughs> yeah, it needs a lot more muscle, lots more muscle. Um, same thing with the builder's hat. We got, we have these kind of way flat and just kind of thin. And they almost look more like, I don't know, sheet metal sometimes. Because uh, we can give it a lot more texture as well. By adding like fatter curves. Beautiful work, simply s no. <laughs> Get out of here. Is this an American Daddy Sailor Moon version? This is whatever Masters did. This is whatever Masters decided to do. Um, eyes, we usually have like a little bit of a little highlight, and then the pupil. Um, usually, the top is going to have more of a more of a darker, darker, harder edge on it than the bottom. Needs chest hair. <laughs> no, it's not in the Lightful's drawing. It's Master's drawing. Give it a jawline. Well, it's his style too. So I think I think the round face kind of fits with his style as well. Would it mean if a th person has a very thick, thick and big beard that his body is also hair? I don't know, maybe, maybe. Some people don't have body hair and they have they have thick beards. I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, you're still in trouble. Yes, you. You're still in trouble. <laughs> you're still very much in trouble. Okay, but that's so that's kinda the critique on yours. Um I would like to see well you're doing you're doing sort of a vector style, so we don't necessarily need to outline everything. But um depending on the different Let's keep it consistent one way or another, though. Um, if we outline some places, let's outline the whole thing. Otherwise, it doesn't look doesn't look finished all the way through. May I go back here? I don't know. Just our hormones. Just our hormones. Okay, so that's Masters. I'm sure he'll watch the VOD later on that. <laughs> Always a fan of some rim light booty. Get out. Just get the fuck out. <laughs> Both you get out. Uh, let's see. All right, save this image. All right, so then we got more Bemizzy. I think this is going to be our last one here. Is it embarrassing? Only if only if somebody wants to make fun of you for it. Otherwise, it's just nature. Yeah, people can just get over it, you know. Okay, so Mizzy, Mizzy, uh, anything in particular on this you want to look at? Anything you want to learn from it? Anything you're struggling with? Um, what's going on with this one, Mizzy? Mm -hmm. Reference photo of the sculpture? Yeah, sure, for sure, for sure. Let's check it out, see what you got. How we can compare it. Oh, out of water. Shit. I'm so stuck on the fur. I've tried it. I 
dozen, I've tried it a dozen ways, but no go. In this style, I think the fur is, the fur like that is okay, though. Um, but I don't know how furry you want to make it. Oh. Okay. Okay, so with that, let's see what we can do. I think the big thing is like, um, I mean, how much do you need to make it look like the actual drawing or the actual sculpture? Streamlabs is weird. Wait, did you dono? Oh, dude, thank you. No, I missed it. I missed it because I don't have sound or anything on here yet. Um, she was pro subscription for five nine nine. I got an email to cancel and refund the subscription within seventy two hours. It's so weird. Is this even legal to connect an unwanted subscription to donation? The still haven't figured out. Okay, so yes, um, cancel that if you need to cancel that. Um, uh, so Streamlabs is really weird. Thank you, Tunichi, first of all, but. Yes, don't do Streamlabs Pro. Um, when you click on a GIF or something like that, they, they don't tell you it's using Streamlabs Pro. They do put a little thing in the very, very bottom that says these are for use of Streamlabs Pro. Um, and by using this, you're going to sign up. It's very fucking shady. It's incredibly shady, and it makes me sick to my stomach that they do that that way. Um, they don't. They because I've almost had several times where I've opted into it, donating somebody, and uh, I think it's disgusting that they do that. <laughs> have it set up that way. Um, they should really be ashamed because they know exactly what they're fucking doing. Um, however, um, that's probably why they sent out an email now to cancel and refund uh, on that shit because that's so many people bitching about it, but they still won't change it. Um, anyways, anyways, I, I, I rant against that because I think that kind of business practices is, uh, is terrible. Um, but yes, they, they do have actual, there's, there's a little message when you do it. Just don't use any of the gifts or anything like that. There is a little message that says by like you're using this uh, and you're agreeing to subscription by using it, um, blah, blah, blah. It's very, it's very like hidden. Uh, at least it used to be back in the day. Um, but it's like very at the bottom of the page type of thing. Yeah, very, uh, very scummy, I think. But thank you, Tooney. Thank you. You don't have to donate, but thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. That means a lot. I made it, I think I don't know where to stop making it or match as fur needs it. Honestly, my opinion is that you don't need the fur. <laughs> um, just my opinion on it. Uh, but if we did want to do fur, what I would do with, with the fur is I would actually take the fur. Um, it's a sticker. They refund the subscription in like five minutes, so that's plus, yeah. I guarantee they had to put that shit on there because so many people complained. Instead of just making it easier to figure out, um, <laughs> they they just still stick with it. Because I probably a lot of people don't check their emails when they send out a dono. I'm guessing they get a lot of accidental subscriptions to it. I know a lot of I know several people who got signed up for Streamlabs Plus uh, early on that didn't want to. And most people are probably like, "Well, fuck, I don't know." I guess I'm stuck with it. So one thing you can do with fur that I do on some of my cell shading stuff is um, I put it into like the highlights and the shadows, right? So it just depends how you want to do it. But like I said, I put these chunks into it. And then it kind of, I don't like how it looks there necessarily, but. Right, so you can do all this stuff.
So this is one way that I kind of tend to do fur. Is I just add it into those shadow layers instead of kind of making it a different thing altogether. Um, instead of making my shapes hard on that, I, I, I make them more, more furry, more textured. Um, I know you have like a kind of a different layer of fur on, on yours. It looks a little bit different down the middle, but I don't know necessarily that you really need it. Because if we do this, the way it is set up on yours. I'm not hating it, would not have thought of that. That's how I do for on, on cell shading stuff. Um, but if we did it like all the way down, I would probably set it to a super, super, super low opacity. But I don't know if I like that as much. I think it kind of looks fine without it, personally. Elite Trash Bot, <laughs> thank you so much for the follow. Hope you're having a great day. It's a sticker, because it, it's a bear, and I, and I can tell it's like a teddy bear. Um, minutes how you is you doing your sexy beard sexy beard bastard sexy beard sexy beard bastard um doing good dynamic how you doing buddy kind of creeps me out yeah on the sculpture it's really cool uh creepy like it's really really creepy <laughs> um but the sculpture really like really ups the creepiness of it but it's kind of cool bearded <laughs> doing great man how you feeling over there dynamic how was your night going, buddy? Uh, but yeah, that's how I would do. That's how I would do that for. And honestly, this is another thing with style and cartooniness that um, I think it looks really great. The one thing that's kind of kind of getting to me is you have a little bit of a tangent right here where the, this hand is kind of crossing this bone just a little bit, but not quite enough. So I'd bring his hand out a little bit more, or whatever it is, just so I avoid that tangent. Kind of put it over there, but I know you're wanting to match the. Uh, I know you want to match this side. So maybe even even move it through the the leg, or maybe you move the leg, see the leg down a little bit. Either way, this is just a little little uh, thing that that I look for is tangents a lot. Making me a bit, in, yeah, I know, right? Um, the the bones need more shading. Uh, I don't think so. Like maybe we could put a little bit more. Oops, wrong color. A little bit more under here. A little bit more under the, where that sort of like that roundness kind of. Curves the skeleton jaw. Could put a little bit under the teeth. Can maybe make this a little bit darker on the sides as well, right? So we know that side doesn't usually get that much light. So we can always hit it. Even down here, we can hit it. Probably on the bottom, there wouldn't be less less light as well, right? If it's getting lit from the top, then the bottom is going to be kind of in dark. The bottom of those feet. Just making a sandwich, nice dude, right on. Um, if I sent you my work with channel points, will you tell me if it's shit, if it is costs? Um, if you want to send it right now, I'm doing critiques, um, and there, t there no, ch there's no need for channel points today um, until the critique session is over. Which this is our last critique on it, but if you got something right now, I can take it and do a critique on it. Twitch is necessary, yeah. Twitch is really necessary right now. Um, uh, so art is my main source of income. Uh, comics, commissions, Twitch makes up a lot of it. Uh, the donation bar makes up quite a bit too. Um, so yes, Twitch is Twitch is a main source of it right now. It's 
That's why I'm streaming so much. <laughs> uh, even being kind of tired and exhausted, uh, that's kind of how, that's just what you gotta do, you know? Um, so Twitch commissions, I would say right now, donate Twitch probably covers at least 50% of it, um, of, of my income. You want to have done it all in a few days? Oh, okay, yeah, that's no worries, no worries. And if you're embarrassed and shy about it, don't don't worry about it at all, okay? Um, see what you mean? Yeah, is there anything else? Anything else you're kind of looking for? Um, kind of curious about, Mizzy? I think that helped a lot. Been stuck on him. Have you really? Yeah. Um, this is just really good, though. Don't 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 feel too bad on it. Um, the thing the thing is, it's going to be very different from sculpture, right? Especially because your drawing is so simplified and cute, so you don't want to overdo too much of it, right? Um, versus that sculpture, which is which is a lot different. It's a lot lot different. Okay, anybody else have any other critiques? I think that's it, and we're going to shut it down. Unless anybody else wants to raise their hand last minute and throw one in there. Um, I think that's about it. You have one? Okay. Yeah, drop a JPEG to it. The, well, y yes or no? <laughs> I did yours. I did yours, Masters. Yeah, I did yours, unfortunately. Um... Hey, something pretty. What's up? This poor bear. This is Mizzy's. Uh, Morbid Mizzy's. I love how it looks. Um, guys, if you're not following something pretty, go show her some love over there. Uh, she's a fantastically talented artist. Um, it's on my phone. It's not completely done. It's a. Uh, I mean, if you can get a JPEG in the chat really quick, um, like we can, we can do it. If not, we can wait. It's not a big deal. Um, the only thing is, I'm asking, I'm asking, uh, so I can either cut off the recording when I download this and put it up to YouTube, cut it off here, or uh, I don't want them to have to wait for like an hour, um, while we wait for another critique to come in. But I can do critiques another time, and we do this almost every Tuesday, so don't stress on it. All right, uh, if you can't get it up, can't get it up, uh, can't get it up into chat. Yo, pretty, how how are you doing? What you up to today? He actually did help and not, he actually did help and not best it, just converting it. Okay, so do you want to, do you want me to wait for a little bit? Um, I can't get it up. You know, the thing is, uh, at, at a certain age, it does, it does happen and it's okay. It's really, it's really okay and you are no less lovable for that. I just want you to tell it, your dragon drawings are still amazing. I think somebody will love that more than anything. <laughs> More than any of the other things. Um, do you actually? Yeah, I actually did a critique over it. It will be on the highlights. It's on the VOD, and it will be on YouTube. It's the center of all my. You know what? It's the center of all. <laughs> all our insecurity. I lash out when people look at me wrong. Yeah, I know. I know. I've been there. I've been there. <laughs> the day, at, the morning after is just a horrible, horrible fucking experience. You just feel like everybody knows. Everybody's judging you. It's just like, come on, guys. Like, it just happens to people. Okay, so you got the stream capped. Okay, so, those of you guys who are new here, welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream. I hope you guys have a great day. Um, we are doing critiques today, and these will all be uploaded to YouTube. The VOD will be downloaded. They will be uploaded to YouTube later on. Um, and, uh, yeah, I think we're going to wait on one more from Dynamic. And then, uh, I think that might be it, unless anybody else has one they want to they wanna throw in there. I'm out of water. <laughs> hey, welcome back, Ben. Welcome back. You work. You know what? I've been hearing that a lot lately. The gorillas thing. I've been hearing that a lot lately. <laughs> which is which is cool though. I used to hear Joe Madrera a lot, um, but I kind of been changing it up, and now it's like bending more a little bit towards gorillas, I guess. Which I love both those. I love both those. What are you gonna do today? Are you gonna stream tonight? We missed you. We missed you like thirty-two percent, Ben. Like thirty. It was like a solid thirty-two percent, maybe thirty-three. 
but mostly 32. Hey, Flats, what's up, buddy? How you doing, man? Working by yourself today? Yeah. How many days a week do you stream now? I feel like I, I well, I don't really see anybody on a lot, but like, um, I feel like you're on your night streams quite a bit, though. Just chilling, yeah. You got you got projects or commissions or what? Four more days a week, yeah. Do you go for like you go kind of late? Usually like what three or four hour streams at least. I can't send it through stream. Should I send it? Yeah, send it on Discord. Send it on Discord um, and tell me where you where you put it, and I'll I'll bring it up. Six to eight hours, sometimes longer. Yeah, sometimes those night streams. Sometimes when you get in that groove, it's really really nice, and you don't want to shut it off. You want to keep going with it. I find like I don't know about you, but I find like sometimes getting to a stream, getting getting to a stream is the hardest part about streaming. It's like getting shit set up and actually wanting to do it <laughs> some days. But once you're in a groove, especially in there, you're that, those last two hours you had planned or whatever, then you're like, all right, we'll just keep going. It's been good now. Stopping in to say bonjour. What's up, Minty? How you doing, Minty? Bonjour. Um, in Discord critique? Okay. The musician's manager asked to buy the license for it to use his... No fucking way. Really? Are you serious, Fleth? Damn, dude. That's amazing. What do you, what'd you quote him? Use the stream for me because my mind's always on the painting we're doing that day. I get super pumped about painting. Oh, really? Okay. Okay. That's kind of cool, though. I feel like your chat is is sometimes pretty hyped. Does it ever, like, run you down? Or, like, there's there's usually, like, a pretty good, pretty good flow to chat. Versus painting when you're, uh... W when you gotta, like, kind of think and concentrate. Is it this last thing dynamic? Looks kind of like a, I don't know what it is. I think that's what it is, yeah. You like the, oh really, you like the busy chat, really. Uh, it makes me feel weird when it's slow. Does it really? Yeah, I know for a lot of people it does that too. Especially like new people starting to stream. I actually kind of like the slow chats now. <laughs> but I'm much more of a, I think I'm much more of an introverted person. Like, I can shut the fuck up and just draw and be happy with that. Um, but I definitely get what, like, when, you, when you're first starting out and uh, like, you have like four people watching you and nobody's talking. It really, really can get in your head. I'm a jar rocks. You do really, really well with keeping up with your chat and talking to people. You do really, really, really well. I'm so stoked. Uh, I just asked for a flat fee of 200. She's not the biggest musician. And a shirt. You know what? Um, but I would ask I would ask for a percentage. Don't ask for, you don't have to ask for a big percentage, but like, kind of hedge your bets on that too, you know? If she's got a manager, um, What's introvert mean to Tom Brady fan? Get the get, get out, <laughs> get out, Bowie. Oh, you do this on your phone? That's really really good. Maybe maybe tell them Fleth. Maybe tell them if they do really really good, then uh, be like, I'll just do a flat fee. Um, but if you do guys really really good, I don't I don't mind if you guys pay it forward a little. Just kind of like let them know, you know. I'm down, I'm down for extra work or I'm down for a bonus if it turns out really well. Okay, so this one's gonna be dynamics. It's a mech, you drew this on your phone. Uh, you do this on the phone? That's amazing, dude. That's incredible, man. The detail on this is insane. Right? Holy cow, I know. What program are you using on your phone? Oh hey, oh hey, what's up Kai? How you doing? Kai, how's your day over there? Guys, if you're not following Stonefly Kai, go show her some love over there. She's pretty cool. She's pretty amazing. 
She does a lot of cool D and D podcasts up on. Follow her on her Twitter, not her Twitch, her Twitter. Um, and you'll get lots more up to date stuff. Kai, how's your day? What you up to? Lurking while working? No problem. Lurk away. I won't. I won't bug you too much today. Um, not too much today. <laughs> I'll let you work. Um, but thank you for being here and popping in. Damn, you did this on a Note 10. Many computers at work. Um, that thing had to take up like all the memory. <laughs> Zalos, what's up? How you doing? What's going on? This was drawn on a with a, on a Note 10. I can't think. That looks like something. Kind of looks like something of a dessert. Yeah, I was thinking the one thing I think is maybe a little bit too much detail and uh, no real good place for your eye direction to go. Um, Trying to, I'm shaking because I'm that scared of people seeing. It. Well, it's really good. It's good, but these are what critiques. These are what critiques are for. So take a deep breath. Like we're all we're all artists here. We've all been nervous. It's okay to be nervous. Um, nobody's going to judge you. Uh, we're all judging you secretly, and the, we have a secret Discord where we talk shit about you. But this is not the time that we do that, right? Um, <laughs> no, we don't. Um, like this is really really good. Everybody really really likes this. So uh, take a deep breath. Be proud of yourself for submitting critiques. It's always really, really hard to submit your first critiques and have people look at it. Um, uh, and just remember that critiques are something that, that are meant to help you get better. So never take it too harsh, okay? I see you holding that water. Now drink some of it, yeah. <laughs> That's all I got left. That's all I got left. On Twitch assets, really, what Twitch assets? That's it, Kai. I, that's the entire thing of water. You can't even you can't even yell at me today. I remember talking shit about it. Yeah, right. I know. <laughs> um, I know we've only known you for like a for like a week, maybe you know. Um, but we decided to start a Discord in case you ever did submit artwork. Uh, no, we never. We never ever ever do that. Um, not to you. But there are there are certain people in here that we do that with. Just they don't they don't know. They're not. I don't think they're. Are they in chat? Let's see. Let's look and see if Farley Farley creates is in chat. Um, okay, we're safe. We're safe. Yeah, we're safe. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, so about this, I'm feeling called out. No, I would never ever talk shit about you. Because you've been working out and you've been you've been lifting weights and I see you getting jacked over there. Farley, on the other hand, she falls asleep during yoga, <laughs> so I feel safe. I feel safe talking smack on Farley, because she will just fall asleep when she tries to attack. I critique Casey's overpaid quarterback all the time. Critique these rings, bitch. <laughs> um, and I can't, cause I, cause I ant ant sensial. Trimmer, so I shake a lot. Uh, okay, don't be nervous though. Don't be nervous. It's totally okay. You're doing good. Um, they always bashing me for sure. Well, that's a that's not even on Discord. That's a whole web. We have like a web page and a forum <laughs> that you log into. Uh, it's the biggest troll in this. Excuse me, sir. I only troll because they give it to me, so I troll them back. It's really good with a stylus on a phone. Is it mirrored like is one is one side a symmetrical drawing? Um, I don't know if it is because I think the hands are a little bit differently. Rings? You mean Tom Brady if you're talking plural? Just wait. 12, 12 Super Bowl rings coming up. 12 Super Bowl rings coming up. He's going to have to literally put two of those on his, his fiance's uh, fingers just to carry all his rings around. Okay, so... Onto the critique. Nobody said Tom Brady. That's a band. That's gonna be a band word in my chat. I think. <laughs> I fucked the hands with it, and I couldn't be bothered changing it because it wouldn't work. It's okay. It's okay. Um, so one thing I notice is that you get way darker towards the bottom than you are at the top. But the thing, the thing that this is, it's really, really, really cool drawing. But we can work on a few things as far as like, um, what do we want to show off as far as like eye direction? You know. Like where do we want the 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 viewer to look, and a lot of times we want the viewer to look at like say the face, whatever it is. Um, 
So it's the face and the eyes here are really blacked out. And if we kind of want the viewer to be there, we have to make some kind of changes to it, some way um, to where people are, are going to look towards that. Um, I don't know if that necessarily like helped blacking that, unblacking them. But everything is just kind of super, super dark. So like, I really like the way that you have a lot of lighting on this stuff. This looks uh, really, really good. It's really, really, really good. Um, the only thing we're kind of going to work on is like, where can we push different things with values? Like, where can we... Add little highlights on stuff. Make things pop out a little bit more. Like maybe on some of these edges and stuff. I don't understand how you did it. <laughs> don't forget to screw and merge. No, it's going, a lot of stuff is kind of going like, uh, it's just like sitting there in a warehouse and they said I gotta take it down because nobody buys it. Nobody cares about it. If I don't talk, I'm listening and watching. Yeah, no worries, no worries. I'm gonna kinda I'm kinda trying to figure this out a little bit too, how I wanna do this. How I wanna go over this. I don't know if I wanna use maybe like a soft brush on it. just kind of lighting up certain areas because it does look really cool but we're going to play around with some different things and the same same goes with not just shading but just hyper detail overall right like maybe we can kind of lead lead the eye down on some of these areas that stick out So like the top, the more top, or, or the more recessed areas are going to get darkness. While the top areas are going to get lit. I do sort of color one, but I'm not 100% with it. I went with light blue and purple. Okay. So just kind of zoomed out on this right now. A lot of the trim could kind of get that highlight to it. This looks like some cool face shit in here. So as we as we kind of light a lot of this up, then like then the face shows up in the middle more, I think, too.
so much better. It's just like, yeah. So, so the thing, the thing that's cool is like, sometimes we get lost in that detail, but the thing with detail is like, detail really, really stands out when, um, and this is just an airbrush I'm taking over, so it doesn't look that great. Um, but I'm just kind of trying to like, um, and then we can add like the detail. over the top of that lightness that's going to make it look maybe even more etched out because then we have now we have contrast to play with Yo, you got it from Pacific Rim? I love that movie too. That first one. So we can still have that detail in there. It's just like the the parts that are going to be lighter here will be able to stand out a lot more. And thus, like the more we do that, the more we're going to draw uh, towards his face where it is darker. Um, so now I'm putting like those hard edges back in there. So now here's our contrast. Um, I know this kind of looks a little a little shitty because we just went over with an airbrush. That's not really how we need to be doing it. Um, more than anything, we kind of need to take out some lines. But this is the this is the base idea of it, right? So now we got these big shapes in here. So also, there's a concept within within art, um, and it's called big, medium, small, and I use it quite a bit. And uh, the thing, the thing. You have some of this going on here, but because you have so much dark detail, it's hard to see. Uh, so big, big shapes, right? Then you can have medium shapes, divide those up. Then you can have small shapes. Putting those all next to each other, this is like what you did here, right? So like say we have a big shape here. This is our, maybe this is our medium shapes. This is our small shapes in here, right? Um, you have a lot of that, but as soon as you like make this all dark, then it all is kind of losing itself. So think about ways you can preserve that as well. Um, maybe make it dark towards towards the bottoms, but keep the top where it's hitting light um, a little bit less detailed. So you can still have that that feel to it all of it. Um, also, because you got you got a lot, you do a lot of like hatching lines with your work, but maybe we can do that, and we can take like a soft eraser. and go through maybe the middle of it. Right. The first one, I love the first one. I, I honestly, I really liked it. <laughs> I know it was just giant mechs blowing shit up and knocking around monsters, but I loved it, dude. The acting sometimes was kind of terrible, but there were some really, really cool things in it. The second one I thought would have been really great, like as a comic book. It just needed a lot more room to flesh itself out. Okay, um, anything else you wanna you wanna talk about on this? That's my main thing with you is just kind of instead of going too crazy with the detail. I know this is something you probably just like to do, and you know what? I I don't want to discourage you from doing this because I think a lot of people love looking at this type of stuff. Um, and they love kind of getting lost in that detail as well. And and that may be that may be like your style or anything that you end up with. But think about where you can play around with like less detail or just no detail at all in order to make the areas that do have detail really, 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 really fucking pop out and sell themselves. Because you have some cool shape language in this as well. You're combining a lot of jagged edges with a lot of like um, a lot of like that sort of like that uh, cyberpunky feel to stuff. Um, but that's kind of like the before, before, after. Um, 
like there's just a little bit of a difference on where we're looking at as far as like hyper detailed areas versus like something that far away is just going to look like a big black splotch on paper um, and then we look at it when we we take that out then it kind of is going to look more more like we can see pieces of the armor popping out the more and the more you do this and the more you you tinker with it uh, the more it's going to pop And I usually get lost in detail and what you say makes so much sense. Yeah, yeah. It's just, it's kind of about like learning, learning to put big, think, think big, medium, small, think big, medium, small, just kind of remind yourself of that big, medium, small. Um, you're doing it in this piece. It's just, you're doing it with your shapes, but you're not necessarily doing it with your, your lighting and shadow. Um, and you can do it with both. So think about that. People don't realize they can do it with color as well as shape language. Uh, and that all helps out. Like you're doing it with your shapes. You have plenty of small areas, plenty of big areas, medium shape areas. But then your shading comes in. It's also so much darker that it. You're almost you're taking away all the really cool things that I can see when I zoom in on this. So you're taking away from all the effort you put into it. You know. Um, but yeah, cool stuff. Let me know if you want to screen capture this at all. I think you might be on your phone, so you might not be able to. But maybe you can if you watch the vod later. Um, but if anybody if anybody has any more critiques at all, uh, let me know now. Um, otherwise, we're very close to the end of our session. Uh, and if that's it, then thank you guys a ton for submitting critiques. Anybody else got one? Show of hands at all? Bueller going once, going twice. Bueller. <laughs> Do you want one? I, I I don't need one. I don't need one. But if somebody has one, they can. I can take it. Screen cap it. I'll I'll save this. I'll save this as a JPEG. And if you remind me, I'll upload it to uh, Discord. I don't know how to screen cap on phone other than like I hold. I think I hold on iPhone. You hold power button, and like the home key. And tattoo is really obvious when a tattoo is too detailed. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And as it, over time, it will fade, right? So. Tattoos definitely, definitely um, are a great way to, to check stuff out. Oh, you're on PC? Um, well, I got it now. <laughs> Here, let me see if I can pull it up into, uh, put it up into Discord for you. I'll just put it in the general. And you can grab it off there if you want. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Um, Sacred, do you want one, or were you just trying to fill time? Because I don't need—I don't necessarily need to fill time with stuff. Um, but like, if you got one, go for it, homie. Just going to fill time. I got I got one, but I need to save it. Okay, yeah, it's no worries, no worries. I mean, we can do it some other time too. Yo, Bill, what's up, homie? What's up, dude? Um, okay, so those of you guys, thank you so much for submitting to critique sessions again. Awesome week, you guys. You just get better and better each week. I love seeing when you guys use the uh, use the tips and advice to um, actually apply it to your next your next piece. So that makes me really, really, really damn happy. Um, Bill, how's your take going, dude? What's going on? 